if you've never been to the Greek Cultural Festival, you're missing out on one of the best weekend events ever here in Central New York. And if you've been, you probably go back for more of the same. But there is always something new every year as well. Liz Steinberg joins us right now. She is with the festival and St. Sophia's Church. This year you're doing baklava Sundays. Yes, doesn't sound scrumptious. Yeah. Absolutely. So it'll be like vanilla ice cream with crumbled up baklava on it with a little chocolate syrup and nuts, maybe a little cream if you like it. It should be just scrumptious, delicious. Okay, and uh, a lot of people come not for the Sundays, although they'll be sampling, but for the pastries themselves. And we have a plate that you have brought, a representative plate. Absolutely. Um, a lot of people don't know what all of these pastries are, but you explain it for them, don't you? Absolutely, and I'll be happy to it to do this. So we have the, um, the cookie dough uh, with the uh, raspberry and apricot topping. Uh -huh. We have those cookies. We have kularaikia, which are a butter cookie. Uh -huh. We have the baklava. We have two types on this plate, right. a chocolate, chocolate baklava. Definitely worth a try. And traditional baklava uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. And we also have the little butter cookie, which is a kurubiedas. Right. My children always call that the messy cookie because it has the powdered <laughs> sugar on it. It does. Top. And oh, we almost forgot the fenikia. We can't forget that. That's a nice walnut cookie right. with syrup dri yeah. dripping on it and everything. So okay. No calories delicious. here at all. Oh, very light stuff. Now we uh, should say that besides pastries, there's also all kinds of food and uh, you explain as we go again, don't you? Absolutely. And, and the one wonderful thing about it, when you come to the festival, uh -huh. we have a lovely little brochure here uh -huh. that lays out everything, all okay. the food, explanation of there the food, go. and we have everything from traditional dinners of like the moussaka, which uh -huh. is the eggplant and hamburger layered hungry, with a becamel yeah. sauce. Now, well, let's, let's stop on the food because we could just get carried away That's on that. That's true. There's a lot of dancing also, and something else that they're doing this year, which is kind of interesting, iconography. Uh, you may not know much about it, but they will explain explain it for you. Um, this kind of shows how an icon is developed, right? Absolutely. The various stages. It's called Icon Writing, uh -huh. and uh, Presbytera Donna, who uh -huh. is our priest wife, that's a respective title okay. she has, she is certified uh -huh. in Icon Writing, okay. and it takes 22 steps. These, the, what you're looking at right now is steps 8 through okay. 12. So it's already developed, and let's put this Absolutely. one down, Liz. Absolutely. And this is what it looks like in the final, and we should say the church is also open, so you can go and see all of the lovely icons that they have, we have inside. That after the tour. We have a wonderful tour. We also have lectures on history, culture, and food okay. that we provide. Those That's mainly on the weekend. Okay. And the kids area, too. Okay. And the Greek Cultural Festival starts on Thursday at St. Sophia's. That is at Nottingham and Waring Road in DeWitt. Um, you can't get real close to the because of the parking situations, but you can park three free at three area schools, and then they have a free shuttle. As we say, it runs Thursday through Sunday. Free admission to the the festival and there is the website or you can call the church as well for more information thanks for the preview well thank you and uh, opa there you go <laughs> we'll be right back